how to create a circular design like this in Affinity Designer. Let's just create a circle, very basic circle and applied like that. And you'll notice straight away, I've got a stroke applied to it. How to do that? Well, create a circle and you'll probably find you've got a stroke here and click here and you've got a solid. You've got 20 points, 40 points, you can set it to anything. But what you can also do is set this one, a dash line style. Just click there. You'll notice down the bottom, you've got options here for two, two. This is what this is. If I go for one and one, let's just go for one and one. And you can see it's different. So I'm just gonna go for one and a two. And you can see you've got this gap. Now there might not be a perfect fit here. And that's what this is for, phase. So you can just set it to one and you can just move it 1.2, perhaps slightly better and so on. But once you've done that and you've set the width, set it, just increase that or decrease that. And again, that has an effect as well. You can see that probably works better. Once you've done that, you can go to a layer and down to here, expand stroke. So expand stroke. And as soon as you've done that, you'll notice you've got this curves and you've got the ellipse. Now you can just get rid of the ellipse. So let's just select it and delete. So that's it, you've got your lovely radial design very quickly. But what you can also do is you can split this apart. But how to do that? With the curve selected, just go to a layer and down to geometry and separate curves. So go for that one, separate curves. And then you'll see you've got lots and lots of curves. So you can, if you want to, just go over here and you can select the individual ones. So you can go to window and swatches and you can recolor it. So maybe go for that one, maybe that one and so on. You go all the way around and change your color. But you can also apply effects to it. So if you want, you can select them all or select one or two of them. And you can go here, go to effects, just down the bottom, you've got here all the layers, click effects and then you go for a bevel emboss. Make sure it's selected and checked and you can see as you do that, you'll get this lovely bevel effect. And of course, there's a variety of different bevel effects you can use, emboss, etc. You can also use the other ones as well. Click close. But what you can also do is you can shift them. You can always move them. You can select one, just shift it. So you could move them all. That's another option. Or maybe rotate it. So you get a different design there. Another option, you could select all of them. And then you could use this tool, the contour tool. So with the contour tool, select that. That's just up here in the tools panel and drag. And you can see you can get this design. But you can also go for this option. Like you've got the fill. So you've got a variety of different options available. Well, you can go for this one. So click there and you can see by changing the contour radius and you can set it here or interactively, you can create a variety of different designs. Obviously different colors, maybe all the way around. You can also, if you want, just bake it so it's just converted all to curves. And you can, of course, apply other effects as well. Another great option you could do is group them all. So go over here, right click and group. So they're all grouped. They're all still individual items. Now we're just going to resize this. So resize that a bit. Hold down the alter option key and that will duplicate all of the designs and reduce the size. Now this works probably even better if you've got different colors for everything, but I've just gone for obviously what I've got here, but I can also rotate it. And now I can use power transform, command or control J, so that's on the keyboard, J is the key thing. And you can see what happens. You can see it goes down. Now it scales, of course, not in the way that perhaps I want, but you can get a whole range of different effects and designs simply by just creating different transforms, applying it like that multiple times. And of course, once you've done that, you can group all those together and you've got this design that you can then I say, group, maybe turn it into a symbol via the symbols panel and much, much more. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you about these transforms as well as how to use the contour tool and any other feature in this tutorial. Bye.